Okay, this video is to demonstrate uh, the problem I was having with the uh, VersaCharge uh, EV SE charging station. Uh, this is the replacement charger uh, that Ray from uh, Siemens sent me. So I will show you how it works compared to my old charger. So just to start everything from ground zero, I'll go ahead and just plug in the charger as if it's being plugged in for the first time. The things to watch for when I plug this in are the various lights on here. They'll blink on for a moment, I guess, indicating some kind of self-test. So just watch the lights up there. It's plugged in. Halo glows. Lights glow there. I've got a green power available light now. I've already got my 2002 Leaf uh, here ready to go. So I will just plug this in here. And the thing to watch for when I plug this in, uh, there's several things. One, you want to watch for the various lights these blue lights that come up here on the, on the, uh, on the leaf. Uh, you'll hear the leaf make a couple of beats. Uh, you'll also hear a thunk sound come out of the uh, charger, the EVSE here, and you'll be, uh, the light will go to the charging light. So here I go, I'm plugging it in now. So you heard one beat there, the thunk here, and then two more beats here. And now you see there's two uh, blue lights on there and then a flashing blue light there. Just means that it's uh, two-thirds charge is fully done and it's working on the other third of the battery right now. So I've got a green power light, an orange charging light here, and then a green halo on the charger. So I'll go ahead and disconnect this. So that indicated everything was working fine. I'll go ahead and unplug this. I'll take this off of the wall. Again, this was the new replacement charger that was just sent yesterday. This is my old charger here. Old as in, I think I bought it back in February, so it's not really that old. Okay. I have a sticker on this just so that I can keep them straight from home. I'll go ahead and uh, plug this guy in so you'll see the same kind of thing. The halo will glow, the various lights will flicker on for a moment as it's going to self test. Okay, it's ready to go. I'm going to plug this into the leaf. And nothing on the leaf, but you see the green halo came on the unit here. I've got a green power available light, and I have a green ready light here. Uh, before, the ready light wasn't on, it was just power and charging. Um, someone else in the forums reported a problem where they were having a similar problem, but they had the fault light come on. I do not have the fault light on on, on this unit here. Um, there was also no thunk sound from the relay, so I'll go ahead and disconnect this. Just to start everything over, I'll unplug this again and plug it back in. What we'll do when we plug it back in when all the lights light up, we'll make sure that the fault light does actually pop on for a second so that way we know the light is, the LED is actually working and not broken. And I do see it on for a second, but that's normal. Everything comes on for the second. So we'll try one more time. Nothing from the leaf. No sounds. No LEDs. No blue LEDs up there. Green halo on the unit. Green power light. Green ray light. So one final time, I'll just go ahead and put the new charger back in. I'll leave this box here. This is the new one again, no sticker on it. Okay, this is the new one. Plug it back in and watch all the lights come on. It's resetting. Okay. Plugging it in. Relief. Beep. Thunk. LEDs flashing. And beep beep. Green power light, orange charging light. Green halo. So that's it. And just in case this one's out of view. Here's the other unit here. There, there are two that's going with the sticker. So. Thank you for uh, watching. Hopefully this helps someone and uh, 
If I find out from Siemens what the root cause is, what the malfunction in my original unit, I'll let you guys know.